In today's video, we are going to really discuss about React or Vue versus the Next.js or Next.js. Which one should you choose? And at the end of the video, instead of me really saying that it depends, you know, I really want to give you a generalized answer for which one should you choose and what is really importance of choosing one of the either of both of them as well. So let's start from React as well, you know. If we are really familiar with React and how it really does, it really has that really state management, props, hooks, lifecycle components, etc. and all that kind of thing, which is really handy. And similar is the concept with the Vue.js as well. And the thing is really like, you know, the Next.js or the Next.js is exactly, you know, the server side version of this, uh, both of the framework. Like from React, they have created Next.js as well. And from Vue, they have created Next.js. So what is the really, you know, advantage or pros and cons of doing the both as well? So specifically React, Vue or Angular, they really fall into the category of SPAs or especially, you know, client side rendering. And if I want to really classify Next.js and Next.js as well, they really fall into the server side as well. Now, which one should you choose out of the both essentially client side versus server side rendering? Now you have to really remember one of the few things as well, you know, in last of my video, I really discussed about what are the inefficiencies in the React as well and how can you really deal with it. So if you have not checked that, make sure you just go up right here and check this out. So client side rendering essentially really means that everything that you processing that the UI is really happening that is on the client's device as well. And what essentially advant and what essentially advantage it really gives you, you know, you don't need to depend upon the server in really tra traditional way as like what happens on the server side page where you just kind of really depend upon the server to render the pages and to deliver it to the client as well so everything happens really instantaneously like because as the javascript as all these frameworks are heavily based on the javascript as well you know every click every handle every event management is done by the javascript as well so you know essentially what we really happen is like the ui is really responsive as compared to the traditional server side rendering we really get the experience is much more enhanced and that kind of thing. And most important thing that I really liked about these uh, SPAs, you know, when you just kind of go to the next, next page, the cursor doesn't really move at all. It just really uh, changes the slash forward path itself, whatever the routes you have set by uh, any router as well. So it doesn't really change anything and it just goes up instantaneously up right there. So that is really what is a plus point of really, you know, client side thing. Uh, and that really kind of really improves the experience as well. But, but as I really mentioned about one of the thing that this apps really sucks at, you know, is just SEO thing itself. So if you have not watched it, consider go and watch that video out there. So I really talked about what are the things that you should really do in uh, React as well. Especially go to the next JS as well. You don't need to worry about the SEO thing itself because it really pre bundles itself for you. Whereas in the case of React as well, you don't, you need to create it on your own or you need to depend upon the third party libraries as well, which is not essentially a big thing in my opinion, if you have a really small or medium sized project. If you have a really dynamical rendering site like you know, instant uh, site create, creating site like GitHub, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, then you need to really kind of set up and proxy APIs or something like that. Between, I'm really going to do an really uh, in-depth course about how we can come up with these uh, inefficiencies and can you uh, address this issue. So make sure you subscribe to this channel as well. But apart from the SEO standpoint of view, you know, I don't really find anything uh, much valuable in the so like using server side frameworks because everything that everything the concept of spas is really carried on to the server side rendering as well so one thing as one inefficiency and the one cost factor is really like you know you have to pay for the server cost and the compute power that uh, that uh, nextjs is using on your hosting as well because because as usually it is really sitting on the server it has to use some compute power to render your pages as well. Whereas in case of React as well, it's completely free. Uh, you don't need to worry about anything as well. It's just, you know, everything, the file is fetched into your device and it really just bundle up right there. The way the React really works is like it has w only one drawback as well. What I really would, what I would really say that is, you know, you need to assume that 
your client's device is much more powerful as well and if it is not then it can really cause a significant lagging issues or a bunch of sort of other things that will really happen with it so in the modern world it's really hard for me to imagine that anyone would be using this nokia 33 110 phone and it's fair enough easy to really spot like to whom are you serving what are your target audience itself if you know that many of your young youngsters are using probably they would have a really modern android or ios phone itself which in case most android and most ios phone are really capable enough to handle all these kinds of react workloads and let's suppose if you have set up any backend logic somewhere upright in the aws itself the biggest advantage is that your react or any just kind of angular or view as well they don't need to depend upon this fund this really like you know how uh, traditional modern architecture really very where everything you need to bundle the code into the you know one file itself and you need to deploy it on that on that thing itself on the server as well so whatever the so what my essentially point is like you know you can deploy your backend into the aws and you can take up this react or any spas as well you need to you don't need to re rely on the backend as well you can take it up this react part go up anywhere deploy it on the azure or netlify and it will still work fine and that is the most you know the plus point itself for what i really consider like right? you deploy your react app anywhere you just set up apis or setting up the fetch request in a really proper manner and it works really fine and the plus point is you don't need to pay anything as i really mentioned because you are essentially using you know a client's device power for to render your pages as well and that is a really plus call plus point as well so let's say if you are serving into millions of people out there and if you are using Next.js for any particular typical reason out there, you will be really costing thousands of dollars at least, to, depending upon what your host is pricing are, what are your services is, and it will really cost you a lot of things as well. So another in, in the SPS as well, or the client side rendering as well, uh, you, will, you are getting that essentially for free as well. So only the thing is that the concern is like, you are really you really need a heavy seo thing itself like if you are really just kind of a news article a blog post or you know a tech blogs or something like that and if seo is number one priority of your go with client side sorry go with uh, server side rendering as well and that is one of the thing that you need to look about like what are your services because my scope of field is really limited like what i'm what i have really talked about is may or may not apply to your own circumstances and scenario as well so and most probably you need to look upon what are your use cases what are the things that you really need and the pros and cons regarding just what i really discussed about right now <laughs> and you need to counter the inefficiencies that are really coming up with your project as well so this was it i just wanted to say which one should you choose in my opinion if you really ask what I really want to choose, I would go. I would definitely go with the React, Vue, or Angular, uh, considering whichever you have learned, because it's much more easy. It doesn't need backend. You are using it for free, and it's really just kind of you know required basic and SEO thing itself, which you can really do with the React Helmet or React Snaps, and that's pretty much regarding. I would really do it like I, instead of going and buying out AWS server, paid the compute price set up my next js and take the headache of deployment and other thing as well why would i really do that ever so for me going with the front end or client side rendering is the most natural way out there and this was it what i really wanted to say but consider what are your use cases are and think wisely stay subscribed to my channel if you haven't and follow me on instagram there i post a lot of free bunch of cool topics other than this one on various social issues so if you are really interested in knowing what i really do consider follow me on facebook and instagram and linkedin twitter wherever you want until then stay subscribed and i'll see you next time